addressing fools and degenerates on the comment board. Shalom. Wong, first and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh Bashum, Yahweh Shai, Bashum Rabbah Kadash. Salutations to the elect and double honors to the apostles of GMS, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashum, Yahweh Shai. Now, now, um, I'm just gonna address the comment board real quick. I mean, these these peons are not really worth taking seriously, but um, you know, I just wanted to uh, say a few things, you know, concerning the comment board here. You know, it's full of, and if you notice, it's mostly Edomites commenting on the comment board. You know, you know. They probably, they all are probably Edomites, okay? You know, in particular, you know, this degenerate said the Indians are red. Who cares what color people are? Well, who cares what people, what color people are? So if, if color don't matter, then why did you so-called white people paint our Lord and Savior as a damn cracker? Answer that question. If, 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 if color don't matter. Why did you paint our Lord and Savior as, as some kind of cracker? Why, why did y'all change the color of our apostles and ancient prophets? And a matter of fact, let me get that in the book of Job. You people don't know nothing. You know, this is why we don't take you peons seriously, okay? And by the way, the so-called North American Indians are not red, okay? You so-called white people are red. And I'm gonna prove that in the scriptures too. You say the Indians are red, we'll prove it. This is the book of Job chapter nine, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who's ruling the entire world today? You so-called white people, starting with the so-called elites, down to the so-called elite families, down to the Illuminati, to you so-called white, white people working behind the U.S. government. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Who's the main judge on this planet? I mean, not not this planet. Who, 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 who's the main judge? Yahawashai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus. Because when he came on this planet 2,000 years ago, he came to judge uh, our people as well as the heathen. So, so who the world called Jesus, he's the main judge. Okay. If not, where and who is he? Now, let's go get that in the book of Genesis. And also, we open this up too. Who cares what, 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 what color, color does, uh, who cares what color matters? Color does matter because it's in the scriptures. Okay. The Holy Scripture says color matters. This is why women are not allowed to speak in churches because they bring nothing but confusion. Genesis chapter 25, verse 24. And I'll just start at I'll start at verse 22. And the children struggled together within her. Who are the children? Jacob and Esau. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord, Yahweh. You know, he, she, she went to go uh, uh, inquire of Yahweh. Okay. And Yahweh said unto her, Yahweh is the true name of the heavenly father, who the world ignorantly called God, Lord, Jehovah, etc. So Yahweh, the true name of the heavenly father, said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. Okay, two nations. Okay, the nation of Israel, which are the so-called blacks, Latinos, and native Indians. And then you also got the nation of Edom, which are you so-called white people. And two manner of people, two manner of people, 
okay? One manner of people is going to be righteous. The other manner of people is going to be wicked. Okay? And, and guess what? The wicked are you so-called white people. Only the wicked paints over the dark images of, of, of the of the Lord of the of Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus. Only the wicked will, will paint over who the world called Jesus and his disciples. Only the wicked will paint over the uh the, the, the prophets, the ancient prophets, okay, the apostles, the men, the, the, the servants of the Lord, the men of the Lord. Only the wicked would do that. And you so-called white people, you are the wicked. Okay? And you want to know when you painted over those images? During the Renaissance period. Okay? Because a man who go by the name of, of Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci, Leonardo da Vinci, a man who, who was hired, he was paid a good amount of money to paint over the dark image of who the world ignorantly called Jesus. He was also paid to paint over all of the dark skin images of the of the uh, prophets and the apostles and, and uh, the King David, King Solomon, because they were also dark skin men. They are also dark skin men. Okay. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, okay? And the one people shall be stronger than the other, okay? Who invented basketball, you so-called white people? Who dominate in basketball today? Our people, the Israelites. Okay, who invented baseball, you so-called white people? Who dominate in baseball? Our people. Who invented boxing, you so-called white people? Who dominate in boxing today? Our people. Who invented soccer? You so-called white people. Who dominate in soccer? Our people. Who invented the UFC? You so-called white people. Who dominate in the UFC? Our people. So whatever sports that you so-called white people started playing, our people came in and took it over. You know why? Because the one people, which are the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians, shall be stronger than the other people, okay? We are stronger than you so-called white people naturally mentally, spiritually, and physically. And the elder shall serve the younger. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb, fraternal twins, because Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel, he was a brown skinned baby with woolly hair, just like his parents, because Isaac and Rebecca, they were also brown skinned people. And I can prove that too, because Moses was a brown skinned person. Okay, Adam, Adam, Adam and Eve, the, the, the nation of Adam and Eve, they were brown, they were brown skinned people with woolly hair. Adam and Eve were brown skinned people with woolly hair. Everybody on the planet had brown skin and woolly hair except Esau, which you will come to find out soon enough. And the first came out red. Now this is Esau right here. He came out red. You know why Esau came out red? Because he had no brownness to his skin. His skin was translucent. Therefore, you can see what color is blood? Blood is red. Okay. And the first came out red. Why was Esau called red? Because of the blood that showed forth through his skin. Okay. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment and they called his name Esau. Esau goes back to the Hebrew word Aishashuan, which means wasted away as he, okay? And that's why you so-called white people are called red, because you don't have no melanin in your skin. Your skin is translucent, which makes it possible to see the blood through your skin whenever you get hot or whenever you get cooked out in a hot blazing sun, whenever you get mad, angry, embarrassed, kicked, punched, beat up, you turn red, okay? And I always love to use this picture as an example. Man turning red. So I'm gonna just wait for these pictures to load up here.
you see uh see yeah see uh, uh of course they're gonna you know hide the picture you know look at that blood showing forth through his head here we go this is the picture i'm looking no that's not it So, uh, let me see. But uh, you, you get the point, man, okay? I don't know why these pictures are not showing up here like they're supposed to. Okay, angry man turning red. Okay, look at that. Donald Trump, blood shown forth through his skin because what? He's an Edomite. But, um, okay, that's all I needed, man. Okay? So, the point is out there. You so-called white people, you're the red ones, not the so-called North American Indians. Because the native Indians have melanin in their skin. There's different levels to melanin. Even light-skinned people have melanin in their skin. Okay? Yeah, it's all fun and games till somebody goes to jail. Uh, L-M-F-A-O. Well, you're gonna be the first one to take that vaccine and die from it. It's all fun and games until shit hits the fan in America and reality smacks you in the face. Okay, you will be consumed by your own hatred. Okay, but wait a minute. Wait a minute though. Do not the Heavenly Father hate? You gonna tell me the Heavenly Father is gonna be consumed by his own hatred? Let's get that, okay? Let me see. Uh. And a matter of fact, boy, it's about to be, it's about to be a slaughter season on this video, boy. You people, hey, you people are right for the taking. Let's see. Do the Lord hate? Oh, wait. Salakia, hold on. Let's, let's see if the Lord hates. This is really gonna hurt you, damn crackers. Now, as we may know, you so-called white people are the true descendants of Esau. So let's see, let's see how the Lord, let, let, let's see what the Lord has to say about hate. This is the book of Malachi, chapter one, verse three. Okay, well, I'll just start at verse two. I have loved you, say of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, meaning the Lord loves the Israelites. Okay, but he only loves the elect on this side. He don't love the two thirds because the two thirds of our people, they're not even making an attempt to get right. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother saved the Lord? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? Yet I loved Jacob. Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel. And what? And I hated Esau. So the Heavenly Father hates. The Heavenly Father hates. And you know what? He hates you so-called white people. Ooh, doesn't that hurt? Yeah, the Heavenly Father hates. You, 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 you will, you will be consumed by your own hatred. Hey, well, I guess the Most High will be consumed by his own hatred too, right? Because he sure as hell hates you so-called white people. He hates y'all the most of all the other, of all the other heathen nations on the planet. Tom Boston, you shall be consumed by your own hate. But what about during the time of slavery? Okay, you crackers showed us nothing but hate. So don't open your mouth. Talking about some, you shall be consumed by your own hate. 
What, what, what about what you crackers did to our people during the time of a slavery? Derby's dose, the pair of anguish. Okay, uh, taking little Israelite, uh, which are uh, so-called black, Latino, and native Indian babies and ripping them apart, dashing them against stones. Having uh, other slaves take a dump in, in other slaves' mouths. And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. So let's get it again for you peons who say, well, well, that's the Old Testament. It's in the New Testament too. The Lord don't change. Malachi, the third chapter in the sixth verse. Uh, Romans chapter nine, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I love. Why is it written? It's written because it's written in the, in the book of Malachi 1 and 3. Well, Malachi 1, verse 2 to 3. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Okay. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with Yahweh? Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah forbid. So there ain't no unrighteousness with the Heavenly Father because he hates. Therefore, there's no unrighteousness with me because I hate you Edomites too. And in case you don't know, an Edomite is a descendant of Esau. Okay. In a matter of fact, let's get that too. Esau is Edom. I'm just going to type in Edom. So the Lord hates. Tom also, you shall be consumed by your own hate. Shut the fuck up. You don't, you don't know nothing. You're just a simple ass peon running out at your mouth at things you have no idea what you know about. Okay, uh, Genesis 36, verse 19. These are the sons of Esau, who is Edom. Okay, so, e so Esau's nickname is Edom. No, no, not, not Edom. No, e Esau is Edom. Okay. Okay, uh, Genesis 36, verse 8. Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. The word Edom goes back to the Hebrew word Adawam, which means red. Because you crackers are not white, you're red. That's why we say so-called white people. We say so-called white people because you self-proclaim yourself to be white, but you're not white. Okay? The word white means innocent, blameless. What, what, what kind of innocent, blameless person sprays chemtrails in the air, put microcosmic shrimp in water, put lead in water, put chlorine in water, put fluoride in water. What kind of innocent person put unclean foods inside of clean foods? There ain't no such thing as an innocent person who do who do such a thing. So you're not white, you're red. You're red because of what? Because of the blood that show forth through your skin. Okay, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus which is uh, in the Apocrypha, the Apocrypha, which is a part of the Old Testament of the Holy Scriptures. For the Most High hateth sinners. So the Most High hates too, man. Okay, so you, you, you've been chopped to pieces. Moving on. Upa Tools. Okay, LMAO. That dude is bugged out of his mind. Okay, I, I never heard of no such phrase as Upa Tools. Okay, so I ain't gonna pay no mind to him. He, he's bugged out. He got demons on him. Hey, y'all, uh, nah. Okay, the Indians are red. I already took care of that. The Indians are not red. Okay, who cares what color people are? Okay, then why, why don't you go? Why don't you go ask the so-called Jews why are they call themselves Jewish when they're not Jewish? If, if, if color don't matter. Okay, isn't that why the Arabs over there in the Middle East said? How is it that, 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 that the Jews left the land of Israel black and came back white? You know why? Because even the Arabs over there in the Middle East know that the true Israelites are the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians. Okay? And during the time of the Romans, the, the only tribes that were living over there in the land of Israel were, were, were the uh, so-called blacks, Jamaicans, and Haitians. Okay? Uh, uh, so-called black people who come from the tribe of Judah. By the way, the real Jews are, are so-called black people. The so-called Negroes. Those are the real Jews. Okay. The word Jew is short for Judah. 
so-called black people come from the tribe of Judah as it is proven in the Holy Scriptures. And I can get that too if you want. Okay, and then, you know, the Jamaicans and Haitians, they were also living over there in Jerusalem. In Jerusalem. But then they had to flee that land because of Roman persecution. That's why they fled down. That's why they fled from the land of Israel down into, into the western parts of Africa. Okay, GMS Dark Matter. God will judge your evil. I hope you repent. Jesus will return. Okay, first off, his name is not Jesus. The letter J was invented around the 1600s. Okay. 2,000 years ago, the letter J did not exist. So you just made your own self look stupid right there. Like I said, wallow in your ignorance. Y'all don't know shit. Okay, the letter J did not come about until the 1600s. You want to know where the letter J came from? It came from you so-called white people putting a hook underneath the letter I. And then changing the pronunciation of it. So the letter J did not exist 2,000 years ago. So his name is not Jesus, okay? And really, you're not worthy to know the Lord's true name, okay? You're, you're, you're just a, uh, you're, you're, you're just an idiot. You don't know nothing, okay? It says, God will judge your evil. But wait a minute, didn't we not just read that, that, that the Lord hates you Edomites? You gonna tell me the Lord is evil? Okay. Let me see. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the God will judge your evil. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see what the Lord got to say about that. Second. Second. This is this is why I don't take you peon seriously, man. Second Thessalonians 1 verse 6. God will judge your evil. The book of 2 Thessalonians 1 verse 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing with Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. In other words, it is a righteous thing with God, who you call God, to recompense. The word recompense means to pay back. Tribulation, what is tribulation? Tribulation is 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 being being troubled, being offended by, by others who don't know shit. Okay? Who put us through the most tribulations, you so-called white people? Slavery is just one of them. So it is a righteous thing with the Heavenly Father, who, who you call God, to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Okay? So... If God is going to judge me for my evil? The scriptures say it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. But once again, you fools who don't know the Bible don't know what the heck you're talking about. So keep your mouth shut. You've been cut three. You, 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 you've been sliced into three different pieces with just one move. Do you truly think God is OK with hurting innocent people? Well, Let's find out. Let, let, let's see if he's okay with hurting innocent people. And, and first off, Job of uh, 4 and 7 will tell you whoever perished being innocent. Okay? 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. Hmm. Boy, you, you guys don't made a fool out of yourself. 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. The Lord killeth... <gasps> Oh my God, really? That can't be my God. He would never hurt a fly. No, 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 that, 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 that can't be right. The, the, the Bible's been, been, been manipulated. No, 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 that can't be right. Look, man, go grab a King James version of the Bible and read it for yourself. Okay? The Lord killeth. What? The, the Lord kills? Yeah. Yeah, you, you. You degenerate. Ooh, man. I, was, I almost said a cuss word. Okay. The Lord killeth. Who's the Lord? The Heavenly Father. Who the world ignorantly called God. Okay. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. Woo. The Lord killeth. Okay. 
Hold on, uh. See. From, see, from the Lord belongeth. You, you guys are too easy, man. Okay, from the Lord belongeth the issues of death. You think the Lord is okay with it hurting? First off, you people are not innocent, okay? You people are wicked. You think you're innocent because you're on the bunk? Okay? An innocent person does not commit sin. Okay? And really, just, you know, hey, hey, the only ones who's going to be found blameless before the, before the Heavenly Father and His Son is the elect. Okay? And really, and really, they're going to be found blameless uh, uh, and, and the, the elect of the nation of Israel, which are the so-called Blacks, Latinos, Native Indians, they're going to be found blameless before the Lord because of their faith and their works. Okay, he that is our God, um, I'm just going to read it like it is. He that is our God is the God of salvation and unto God, the Lord, <laughs> okay, and unto God, the Lord, belong the issues from death. So if, 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 if so, if somebody dies, that was a commandment from the Heavenly Father to have that person put to death, okay? Why? Because the Lord killeth and maketh alive. Okay, so yeah, who you call God is okay with, 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 with killing you people. Okay, and you people are not innocent because if you were innocent, you wouldn't die. In a matter of fact, let's get that, okay? You people don't know shit. You need to just keep your mouth shut and stay off my comment board before you get blocked. Because you, you're really starting, starting to waste my time. Job chapter four, verse seven. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent or where were the righteous cut off? Meaning, 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 when have the righteous died? So... So if, 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 if you die, obviously you were not innocent, okay? Who, who, whoever, the, another word for perish is, is to die. So whoever perished, whoever died being innocent, okay? Whoever died being innocent. So obviously the, the, the ones of you who die, obviously you're not innocent, okay? See, what happened in this video is a hate crime. Dude, what happened in this video is a hate crime. Well, the Lord hates. You gonna tell me the Most High created a, a hate crime because he he issued that that uh, that Edomite's death? You people are out of your mind, man. Don't try to justify it. I just I, I just I just proved to you in the scriptures that the Most High kills. Please stop spreading hate. Okay, the Lord hates. The Lord hates you Edomites. He hated sinners. Okay. So the most, so if the most high hates sinners, you think he's just gonna let you roam around freely? No, he's gonna put you to death. Okay, love your neighbor uh, and pray for forgiveness. Okay, and, uh, again, Edomites running off at their mouth at shit they don't know nothing about. Okay, and then and then it's a fucking woman. You don't know shit. Okay, women don't know nothing. Oh, and a matter of fact, let me get that. Let me let me get that. <laughs> let me get that. Okay, because God, because God hath deprived her of wisdom. I know it's in the book of Job, so just bear with me, brothers. I'm talking to the brothers and it's truth, not you damn heathens. You're worthless. I can also prove that in the scriptures too. The Lord said you're worthless. Okay, Job 39 verse 17, because God, who you call God, had deprived her, deprived who? The woman had deprived her of wisdom. Neither have he imparted to her understanding. Why? Because the understanding was given to the Israelite man. So because you have no wisdom, you're gonna bring out some BS like love your neighbor, okay? First off, first off, who's my neighbor? My neighbor are, are, are my neighbor are the brothers who are going out there teaching the same doctrine that I'm teaching. That's my neighbor. 
My neighbor, my neighbors are the ones teaching the 100% correct doctrine according to the Holy Scriptures. Okay, those are the only ones I love in this world. Okay, you, you Edomites, which are you so-called white people, you so-called white people, you are the biblical Edomites and you heathens, I hate you, okay? And real soon, the Heavenly Father is going, you going, judgment is going to come upon you, okay? Okay, now to put the icing on the cake, okay? Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16. Okay, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who's Esau, you so-called white people. I proved it in the book of Genesis, the 49th, the, the, the 25th chapter. Okay, Esau, and I also proved it in uh, Genesis, the 36th chapter. Esau is Edom. Okay, the word Edom goes back to the Hebrew word uh, Adawam, which means red. You so-called white people are not white, you're red. Why? Because of the blood that show forth through your skin. Okay, that's why you're called red. But from time to time again, you so-called white people, every time you come up in power, you 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 you, you like to hide behind uh, the names of, of 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 other races. You like to hide you, you like to hide your your true nationality, which the true nationality of you so-called white people is that you're Edomites. You like to hide your true nationality be be behind everything else except the fact that you're an Edomite. Okay, two thousand years ago, y'all 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 called yourself Romans. A little over two thousand years ago, y'all called yourself Greeks. When in actuality, the real Greeks were 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 the Japhites, who were brown-skinned people with woolly hair. Okay, the Japhites. Okay, today the Japhites will be known as the Hawaiians. But you you know what happened though. Okay, y'all killed them off, and and, and, and then and then y'all stole their nationality and started calling y'allself Greeks. So y'all y'all was not even the real Greeks. Y'all stole that y'all y'all stole that nationality from the Japhites. Okay, the Japhites were calling them the Hawaiians were calling themselves Greeks back then. Okay, Romans. Okay, the original Romans were who the Hawaiians. But guess what? You killed them off, and then you started calling yourself Romans. Okay. During the Renaissance period, when 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 you so-called white people came back up into power again, at because originally we were ruling Europe, we were ruling uh, Germany, we were ruling Turkey, we were ruling North America, South America, we were we, we were ru ruling Puerto Rico, Mexico. But then during the Renaissance period, when y'all came back up into power. You know, when 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 y'all took us out of when y'all took us out of power, what did y'all do? Yeah, y'all started once again uh, 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 hiding behind your true nationality. You started calling yourself Europeans. You started calling yourself Germans. Okay, those people in the land of Israel calling themselves Jewish—they're not—they're not the real Jews. They're Amalekites, descendants of Esau. But guess what? What 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 year was it? I believe it was I believe it was somewhere around the 18 or the 1900s when 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 those uh, so-called Jews when 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 they left the land of Europe they went into uh they went into the land of Israel and and what happened they started declaring themselves as the Jews when they're not and that's why those Arabs said how, how the hell did the Jews leave the land black and came back uh, so-called white? Because the Arabs know that the real Jews are, are, are the so-called Negroes. Okay? The Arabs know, man. They know that those people in the land of Israel today are not the real Jews. Even they know that. The East, East Indians know that. The Africans know that. The Chinese and Japanese people know that. But again, you simple-minded idiotic degenerates here in America, you don't know that. You know why? Because your government has had, held the truth from you your whole life. So I, I, I can't really I can't really blame you or be mad at you for being stupid. 
I can only blame the government for the chemtrails they put in the air, the fluoride they put in your water under the excuse of, of uh, keeping your teeth clean and healthy. I can't blame you, man. I can't blame you for, for being as stupid as you are. Okay, so lest there be any fornicator or, or profane person as Esau, you so-called white people, you are the true descendants of Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Okay. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. So, in other words, it's impossible for you so-called white people who are the biblical Edomites to receive salvation. It says it right here. He found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. So, as it is written, what hast thou, you, well, what have you so-called white people to do to take the Lord's uh, uh, statues in his mouth? Seeing that thou hatest instruction, okay? What's a part of the instructions of the Heavenly Father and the Son? A woman is not to buck up to a man. But here it is, because you hateth instruction, you bucking up against me, a man. But anyways, Shalom is on to the next one. Shalom.